Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. What we will be doing in this video is performing a full breakdown on a pair, both from a technical and in order flow perspective. And by using the combinations of these two different types of analysis, we will be able to understand which is the best zone to be looking for a potential trading opportunity on the pair. And specifically, I will try to keep the analysis as educational as possible so that by the end of the video, for sure, you will have taken out some good key concepts that you can apply in your own trading strategy and trading plan and that will immediately make you a better trader. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'm a top author on the trading platform and I share free education and analysis on all my platforms every single day. So I really suggest you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on all this free education and I will see you in the video. What I want to do in today's video is give you a full breakdown for GBP USD because it's an extremely interesting pair to follow at the moment for a potential trading opportunity. So I will be guiding you in a full analysis on it, both from a technical and order flow perspective by checking the COT data, so the commitment of traders. And by the end of the video, you will know exactly which is the best zone for a potential trading opportunity on the pair. And as usual, I will keep it very educational so that you will learn very important concepts. So we will start from the monthly, weekly and daily time frame to see the directional aspect of the pair. And then on the four hours, we will be looking for entries and obviously combined with the COT data. Now let's start our analysis from the monthly time frame. Now on the monthly, what we clearly have is an extremely strong level of support at this region, so of demand. In fact, from here, the market had started all this huge move to the upside. Again, the market tested this zone here and respected the area as support. Again, the market tested its zone here and respected it as support. So this level is holding extremely strong in the market. Now, what we can also see is that not last month, but the month before, what did the market had created? The market had created this candle here. Now, when you see a candle with such a long wick and a green body, what do you expect? You expect the next candle, okay, to fill in the wick. This is a pattern that we also spoke about, I actually made a YouTube video only about this pattern. When you see a candle that looks like this, you expect the next candle to actually fill in this wick, so to be bullish. And the reason for this is that this wick is simply a retracement on lower timeframes. And in fact, we definitely wanted to see the market give us this move to the upside because we had the market rejecting an extremely strong level of support, plus this monthly candle here, of which we expect the next candle to actually fill in the wick. Going down on the weekly time frame, what do we have? Now, on the weekly time frame, situation was extremely interesting. Now, if you remember from our previous analysis on GBP USD, we actually made quite a lot of analysis on GBP USD. What did we say? First of all, we said that after the market had created this monthly impulse and correction, we wanted to see the market start a new move to the downside for a long series of reasons. And that is exactly what the market made. The market gave us this move to the downside, specifically actually filling in the wick of this candle, which is the same candle that we just spoke about. In fact, we wanted to see the market fill in this wick. That is exactly what the market did. And in fact, we capitalized on this move to the downside with students. And I will link this previous analysis in the description so you can go and check out all the reasons for which we wanted to see this move to the downside. Then again, we spoke about GBP USD after the market had created this W formation saying that we definitely wanted to see the market give us this move to the downside. That is exactly what the market did. And I will link that previous analysis as well in the description of the video. And then again, we spoke about GBP USD after the market had created this M formation here on the daily time frame. And what did we say? We said from here, we definitely want to see the market give us a retracement. And after that, again, we made another analysis on GBP USD saying that from here, we definitely wanted to see the continuation to the downside for the completion of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside. And that is exactly what the market did. And obviously we capitalized on this move to the downside with students. And then the market created this W formation. 
And from here, we made another analysis. I made actually another analysis telling to you guys that from here, we definitely wanted to see this W formation complete at the neckline, which is exactly what the market did. And we capitalized with students on this small move to the downside for a nice day trade with a one to three risk to reward to the downside. And then in our last analysis, we said after the market has created this overextended W formation, we want to see the market give us a retracement to the neckline and continue to the upside, which is exactly what the market has given us. And now the overextended W formation has actually reached a very, very high level, even though here we can clearly see that the market did retrace to the previous resistance now to support. Anyway, the market exploded to the upside without showing any sign of weakness, not even one red candle. And now I will now show you exactly why that is important. But now that I showed you all the previous analysis, you will find them all linked in the description for more free education. So I suggest you go and check them out after this video is finished for more free education and further reference. Now, let's go back to our analysis. We were at the weekly time frame. And let's continue going. Just a quick reminder, make sure you comment below and you let me know which pairs or topics you would like me to analyze or cover in the next videos. Now on the weekly, what we can see, we can see that the market has reached an extremely important level of supply. In fact, from here, the market had started all this huge move to the downside. And now the market is again inside of this area. And from here, we would like to see the market definitely give us a move to the downside. And what do we also have? We have this overextended W formation on the weekly, which should definitely lead in a retracement, considering that as we have just seen also on the daily, we have an overextended W formation also on the daily. So on the monthly, we wanted just to recap. On the monthly, we have seen a clear rejection of a very strong support area. On the weekly, we are at very strong supply with a W formation, and we want to see the market give us a move to the downside. And on the daily, we have as well in overextended W formation, and we would like to see the market give us a move to the downside. Now, let's just find our first target to the downside for GBP USD. Now, as usual, if you want information on the retracement, what are you supposed to be doing? You're supposed to be taking your Fibonacci on the impulse. So in this case, from the low to the high of this impulse. And what we can see is that the 0.382 is our first target to the downside, the 50%, the second one. Now, which one is the Fibonacci level that is aligning the best with structure? In this case, it's more of a zone because the structure is here. The previous resistance, which is now trans support, is inside of this area given by this demand zone. So basically our target will be the zone in between the 50% and 0.618. But just to have a first target to the downside, we can be targeting the 50%. And just to keep charts clean, because I like clean charts, we can put this as our downside target and just identify it as our target one. Now let's go and see where is the structure on the daily time frame, And now we will see what we have from a COT perspective. So on the daily, what we can see is that in creating this double top, the market still hasn't broken below the previous low. We still have support at this area, which the market has failed to broke to break to the downside. This is the previous support, which is again towards support to this area, which the market still hasn't broken to the downside. Now, before I show you how we will be approaching a situation in which you have a bearish target, however, on the daily, the structure is still bullish. Let's go and give a quick check at what we have from a COT perspective. So commitment of traders, what the biggest banks and institutions are currently doing in the market and how they are positioned. Now, what we can see is that if we look at the long term, and first of all, if you check the data for the pound, you are already checking pound USD. Why? Because all currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. So if you're checking the data for the GBP, you are already checking GBP USD. And what we can see, we can see that in the long term, we went from a positive net positioning with 35K net positions and 76K longs and 40K shorts, all the way down to having way more shorts than longs. So completely the opposite situation from having more longs than shorts to having more shorts than longs. 
So uh, currently, in fact, with the previous report, we had 64K shorts and 39K longs. Now with the last report, we can see something that is against our analysis. In fact, we can see that institutions have added 6.6K longs and closed 4K shorts. So institutions have been longing the pound with the last report, bringing net positions from minus 25K to minus 14K, long exposure at 26%, and short exposure at 34%. So in the short term, institutions are actually longing GBP USD, which correlates pretty well with what we have from a daily perspective. We can see on the daily that institutions haven't started shorting yet because they still haven't broken below the structure. So how we will be approaching this situation with students? From here, the market can easily continue to the upside because we are above daily support and as we have just seen institutions have been still longing however if this era will actually manage this trading week to break to the downside then what will happen this previous report will be turned resistance at this area and after the market will break below this support and turn it into resistance after a break on the retest of this area this is where the opportunity is because at that point you have the previous support turn resistance inside of the zone. We have the impulse and correction and we want to see the continuation to the downside. We have a bearish target from the weekly and daily time frame and we have the confluence of the Fibonacci taken from the high to the low of the impulse possibly at 0.32 or 50% Fibonacci confluence all lining up inside of this area. And as usual monthly, weekly and daily time frame combined with the COT data are the best time frames when it comes to the direction of the market, but the best time frame for entry is the four hours. So with students inside of this area, what we will be doing, we will be monitoring price action on the four hours, waiting for the market to provide to us one of our valid entries. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be taking a nice short with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities for the move to the downside completion of this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside and for the market to reach our overall downside target. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the creation of more free education and analysis for all of you. Also, make sure you go and check out the mentorship program. You find it linked in the description. It's a very complete program. You first learn all the rules of my rule based strategies and then you trade them live with me. Each and every day, I give you a new daily market breakdown showing you exactly how to apply the strategies with entry, stop, and take profit as well as answering every single question that you have every day, including the weekends. So I really suggest you go and check it out and I will see you in.